light wave. We use the phrase all the time, yet it is very rarely do you ever see any phenomenon that really exposes the wave nature of light. Now, this experiment is designed to do exactly that. It's really simple to set up, yet it is profoundly surprising. The first part of the experiment is to align the apparatus in a straight line. Here, we need a laser pen, a diffraction grating, and a screen. The laser pen must be fixed at the position so that the beam is perpendicular to the grating. Now, let's observe the pattern that appears on the screen. It is very interesting to see the spreading of light forming a series of bright spots. This brighter spot is the center of the series. Standing on either side of it, we can see a bright spot pattern. The question is, how do we relate this pattern to measure the wavelength of the laser and also to measure the number of diffraction grating per unit length for this diffraction grating? At the end of this video, you should be able to determine the wavelength of laser beam using a diffraction grating and determine the number of diffraction grating lines per unit length. When a laser beam is incident on a grating, a diffraction pattern in the form of a series of bright dots can be seen on the screen. This footage shows that when light beam passes through the diffraction grating, the beam will be diffracted at different angles. The relationship between the angle theta of the nth order and the wavelength of laser lambda is sine theta is equal to n lambda over d, where d is the distance between two consecutive lines of the diffraction grating known as grating spacing. Usually, the grating spacing is specified in number of lines per meter, such as n lines per meter. Hence, n is equal to 1 over d. Then, sine theta can be written as n n lambda. By measuring the angle theta for each order, the wavelength or the number of lines per meter can be determined. By using the trigonometric formula, the value of sine theta for order n can be determined. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, sine theta is equal to ln over square root of ln square plus d square. Before taking any measurement, Slide both grating and laser pen until the center bright spot is fairly at the end of screen. Then, we move the grating away from the screen to adjust the spacing between the bright spots. Make sure they are as far as possible from one another. Then, mark the position of the bright spot using marker pen. Now, measure the distance between the screen and the grating. Next, measure the distance between spots of order N to the center spot. Continue until 7 order. Record your data in the table. Plot the graph of sine theta against the number of order n. The wavelength of the laser beam lambda can be obtained from the gradient of the graph m. Referring to equation of graph, the gradient is equal to n times lambda. Rearrange, you will get the wavelength is equal to m over n. For the next part, repeat the procedure using grating B.
Record the data in the table. Plot graph of sign theta against number of order n. The number of lines per millimeter of grating B can be obtained from the gradient of the graph. Referring to equation of graph, the gradient is equal to n times lambda. Rearrange, you will get the number of lines per millimeter is equal to the gradient over the wavelength. Now, write a complete report. List all the precautions and error for this experiment. Compare your experimental value with their actual value. You may find the actual value in the description below. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I will try my best to answer your questions. Thank you for watching.